What is up, Bray Gang? It's your boy back at it again with another Big Body Banger. And today we're going to be covering something that really affects all of us as a community and stuff. If for those that don't know, uh, I am definitely uh, all, outside of YouTube, I'm also on Twitch. And um, there is a disturbing article that came out and a disturbing move that Twitch is making um, that's impacting everybody that is on that platform. Now, YouTube has obviously has like, you know, a, a very extensive copyright system and da, da 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 and you know that's something that's already been established and so twitch was a platform where you can kind of go and you know do and like check out the copyrighted content you really couldn't check out on you know youtube for instance a lot of you guys wanted me to react to Ramstein, and um I uh, wasn't able to react to that on my on my channel because they're a hundred percent backed by copyright, um, you know, on on YouTube. But on Twitch, since it's a live streaming platform, um, I was able I'm able to react to you know Ramstein clips and stuff like that. Well, let's go ahead and dive into this article and see exactly how Twitch's new policies affect our community because it's it's going to be kind of crazy uh if you guys are new to the channel welcome if you guys are returning viewers welcome back we post videos every single day and uh this is going to be a different type of video so let's go ahead and get straight in right here it says twitch blast streamers with vague unhelpful uh dmca takedown emails so right here it says streaming platform twitch this week surprised many of its users when it sent out a huge batch of copyright takedown emails these messages not only didn't tell streamers what supposedly infringing content they posted, but it also said that Twitch had simply deleted the content outright without giving users a chance to appeal. Many Twitch partners, the folks who make the actual money from their Twitch participation, received emails on Tuesday warning that some of their archival content was about to be deleted for violating copyright law. We are writing to inform you that your channel was subject to one or more of these DMCA takedown notifications and that content identified uh, has been deleted. A screenshot of the email posted to Twitter by streamer Devin Nash reads, the email then goes on to recommend that users familiarize themselves with Twitch's guide to copyright law before normal processing of DMCA notifications resumes on Friday, October 23rd, which is tomorrow. Unsafe Harbor. Uh, the, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, uh, the DMCA, which has governed online copyright matters in the United States since 1998, has what's known as a safe harbor provision in it. Sites that host content such as Twitch can't be sued for hosting infringing materials if they respond quickly to notices from copyright holders informing them of the violation. Thus, the takedown notice. A content owner or a bot like YouTube's Content ID system flags content and then the platform then removes it as quickly as they can, notifying the person who shared it. However, under DMCA, users are also supposed to be able to appeal those rulings with a counter notification. And Twitch does indeed have a counterclaim process. In order to file a counter notification, affected users have to submit a written notice that includes, among other things, an identification of what material was removed or had access disabled with a link full name, address, and signature, and a statement sworn under penalty of jury, of pre -jury, or perjury, uh, that the material was removed or disabled as a result of a mistake or a misidentification. This time around though, users aren't getting that option. Twitch not only didn't actually tell users what infringing content was connected to their account, it just went ahead and deleted everything permanently anyway, according to the emails. We recognize that by deleting this content, we are not giving you an option to file a counter notification or seek a retraction from the rights holder. In consideration of this, we have processed these notifications and are issuing you a one-time warning to give you a chance to learn about copyright law and the tools available to manage the content on your channel. So the number one question is why? The deletions and notifications are apparently related to a sudden influx of DMCA takedown requests for clips with background music from 2017 through 2019 that Twitch said in June it had received. Those, in return, apparently stemmed from a sudden increase in action by the RIAA at the time. According to an August CNN report, the RIAA sent more than 1,800 copyright infringement notices to Twitch in June alone, whereas it previously sent out only about 700 total across the, the, the previous three years. Part of keeping your safe 
Harbor Liability Protection is dealing with these notices as quickly as possible. Sitting on a massive pile of notifications to deal with at one time over the course of months doesn't really qualify as quick by any measure. So Twitch found a way to act in bulk. A representative for Twitch confirmed to Kotaku that the company went for a mass action because it was dealing with thousands of backlogged infringement notifications from the holders of music rights. Once Twitch is caught up, it plans to handle future infringements on a normal basis. In June, the company said it was expanding its use of automated technology to scan archive clips for copyrighted music and added that it would automatically delete clips it found to be violating copyright rather than penalizing streamers for them. The company reiterated that the position uh, reiterated that position yesterday and that the procedure goes into effect on Friday once again, which is tomorrow. So the final section of this article says just delete everything. In the meantime, however, Twitch's advice to streamers is unhelpful to say the least. Not only do users have no way of knowing which of their clips were being flagged, but Twitch's best advice seems to be delete everything. To avoid receiving a DMCA takedown notification for the recorded content that remains on your channel, we recommend that you take down the following actions, Twitch wrote in the emails. Review your clips, VODs, and any content in your creator dashboard and delete anything that includes unlicensed copyrighted material. If you are unsure about the contents of your archive, you can delete all of it. Twitch did not provide users with a tool to mass delete or mass archive their content, although Justin Ignacio, one of Twitch's founders who left the company in 2018, shared a third party tool for doing so on Twitter. All right, so here's what we're gonna talk about really quick, right? So copyright obviously is a huge issue among all websites, platforms, whatever. I feel like, uh, let, let, let me let me go back to my main screen once. I feel like this is kind of ridiculous. You know, I, everybody said it over and over and over again, right? I feel like the uh, companies, especially music companies in particular, are basically, in, in all due respect, messing up their own pockets, right? They want every scrap and cent and penny from everyone, and they actually want the only place, the only, um, you know, uh, source of traffic that they get to, you know, uh, display their 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 media from, for, is from pretty much their own platform. So, like, let's say there's an artist that releases music, that artist's music, the, the company wants it to come from one location, and that actually limits exposure. You would think, you would think that content creators, right, that use music in the background would be promoting that music to a wider audience. I mean, envision this, right? Imagine being on Twitch, having 24,000 viewers, and you're listening to, um, I don't know, like a Lil Uzi Vert song, and no one knows what that song is, no one knows who the artist is, or very few people know who the artist is. Well, guess what? 24,000 live concurrent viewers are now exposed to this new music, and guess what happens to the sales of this man's music? It goes through the roof. But no, greedy copyright labels and stuff, big companies, right? They want to take every penny that they possibly can, and not even every penny. Like, it's one thing to copyright something, right? And leave it up, but they're straight up taking videos down, which I think is ridiculous, you know? So, um, it, it, it sucks, and I know a lot of people are like, ah, well, just don't use copyrighted content. And I'm like, oh, all right, well, maybe there's a song you wanna listen to or a video you want to watch that um, now you can't, um, at least on, on streaming platforms and, and uh, you know video sharing platforms because these big thirsty companies are all about running your pockets, which sucks. Instead of actually strategically um, expanding their horizons by allowing the reuse of their material to therefore expand the the their their pockets you know think about this back in i want to say prior 2010 uh the gaming community experienced this to no end so and and, and think about it like hindsight's 2020 so Things are going to change over time, and I hope this is one of the things that changes. But back in the day, game, gamers at all, of all sorts, all backgrounds, were all receiving copyright strikes from YouTube all the time. If you uploaded gameplay of anything, you were subject to copyright strikes, takedowns, everything. But slowly but surely, gaming companies realized that if they allow the bigger creators to play those games with no type of copyright, um, involved, right? It would actually expose their game to a wider audience and the 
therefore bring them more customers. I wish that music record labels would realize the same thing. And this has been something reiterated over and over and over again. It's been beaten like a dead horse. But the people who are running these companies are probably 70, 80 year old guys that have been doing this for their entire lives, right? And they have not um, they failed to 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 change with the times, and it's very unfortunate. Um, it affects this channel, um, <clears throat> not this YouTube channel, but it affects like the, the Twitch channel especially. Uh, I'm not a partner on Twitch, so it doesn't really affect it super super you know um, crazy or anything. But right now, after Friday, they are going to crack down hard on copyrighted material. So that being said, um, the live reactions we were supposed to be doing on Twitch. Um, I might actually have to take down the streams and stuff like that. Well, to be fair, the streams, I mean, since I'm not a partner yet, they delete themselves. So I don't think I'll have too much of a problem, but I think once I actually get to partner, I won't be able to save the streams, at least for streams that I, I react to, um, you know, bigger artists. But this also poses as good news for this community. If you guys are watching this and you are a smaller creator, um, you are you know trying to get your foot into the music scene or um, you know anything of that sort, you can always ask me to play your music during a stream. I will. I, I will 100% play your music because um, all of the independent artists music for the most part aren't copyrighted so not only does it allow me to have something to play in the background but you also get the equal exposure so it's a win-win situation for all of us let me know if you guys agree with that um, just wanted to kind of cover that uh, really quick because this is something that's getting really insane I know a lot of my favorite uh, twitch streamers are being affected by it worldwide it's not just America it's Germany it's uh, any place that has Twitch um, on their on their on their I guess their internet on their, on their platform, you know. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Do you think the copyright system is broken and it should be updated so it can eventually turn into what the gaming community is now, where they're able to use and play whatever games they want without getting copyrighted in exchange for their exposure to uh, their their audience, you know. Uh, I feel like that should be the same for music, but that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think once again in the comments down below. It's been a pleasure making this video with you guys, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Peace.